Got a pretty big Monday highlights episode coming to you guys. Twin Lakes three day, the Breeders' Cup West, the Big River Classic, the 2024 Masters, and the Hall of Fame inductions all get ready to come to you on the Monday highlights. So let's drop the gate and cast your hounds. Welcome to the Monday Highlights, presented by the Hounds Tales Podcast. We'll be bringing you the results from the previous weekends, coming hunts, and news from the field trial world in deer dog woods. Drop the gate. Let's get it, guys. Do you need a sponsor for the next hunting event at your local club? Joy Dog Food would love to help you out. Head over to the contact page on our website, click the sponsorship application button, and fill out the form. We will then contact you and let you know if we'll be able to sponsor your event. Applications must be submitted at least 60 days prior to event. So head on over to joydogfood.com and fill out the form today. If you're listening to this podcast, you probably have a need for dog supply items such as Garmin products, bark collars, remote trainers, Name tags, field trial and hunting dog supplies, supplements and first aid, dog fences, used and refurbished collars, and much, much more. Where can you go to to get that? Outdoor Dog Supply. Outdoor Dog Supply is the leader when it comes to Garmin Tritronics trade-in program. They were one of the first Garmin dealers to start accepting Garmin buyback trade-ins toward purchases. Outdoor Dog Supply currently accepts both working and some non-working units. Be sure to check in with these guys at Outdoor Dog Supply or at 757-482-1000. And their hours of operation are from Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. And if you're in the Chesapeake area in Virginia, be sure to stop in. Go see these guys in person. Outdoor Dog Supply is the leader in online sales as far as Garmin products go and uh, and your hunting dog supply needs. This is where I go to get all my stuff. Might as well join me in it. All right, guys. Again, be sure to check these guys out, OutdoorDogSupply.com, and thank them for coming on board with the Hound's Tales podcast. Let's get back to the episode. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to take a second real quick and interrupt the show and talk about Cajun Lights. They have jumped on board to support the Hound's Tales podcast and the field trialing community. Uh, you got nighttime field trials coming up. I know I do in my series. Pleasure running at night. When you need to catch that next cross and put your trust in Cajun Lights. Cajun Lights is made in America product out of North Carolina who has been in business for over 25 years. They make cap style and bucket hat headlamps to free up that extra hand for your voice recorder or for your GPS. There are three main lights I'm going to focus on real quick. The first is the Micro Gator, which is the lightweight option. It has four brightness levels and four color options, including red for us field trialers. Rated at 50 to 60 hours of battery life on the highest setting, this is your flood style lamp that'll do really good for us out in the fields in the short brush and be able to help us get in front of those crossings. Next up is the Cajun Bayou, which is the next step up and it includes the same number of colors and brightness levels, but it packs a much bigger punch on that brightness level. So you can catch those crossings way down the path when you got a long road to cover. And last but not least is the top level Cajun Blinder. It has a main beam light with four levels of brightness and includes a walking light. And even with the light this bright, the burn life on it is is rated at five to six hours on the highest setting. There's no chance of missing a dog with a light like this one, folks. All their lights come with a two-year warranty and a lifetime labor warranty. And these guys are excited to get into our sport, ladies and gentlemen. So y'all be sure if you see me out of hunt, come ask me about them. I'll have one of each of these lights on hand to show you and let you put it on your head and kind of experience it. Show these guys some love, guys. And y'all please go visit their website at CajunLights.com. And their phone number is 888-773-3080. Thank you, Cajun Lights, for all you do and for trying to get into this sport. Like I said, guys, let's show them some love. Let's get back to the show, guys. Here we go. And before we get too far into this episode, I do want to issue an apology from myself. Um, My work did not allow me to get off um, and be able to make it down for the Masters this week. Um, 
my, me and the family are going on a vacation next week and it was too much time off too little close together so needless to say i'm looking for a new job um i, I did not get fired and not quit and i don't take that the wrong way but um i want to be i wanted to be able to do more and be able to do everything i need to do in this sport and um i feel like i should apologize to to everybody out there um I just could not make it happen. Um, I wanted to try to leave work Wednesday to try to make it down to the banquet, and I couldn't even do that. Um, Unfortunately, the way the work goes, and uh, I just couldn't make it happen, guys. So um, needless to say, I'm I'm working on uh, on finding something different so I can be able to dedicate more to y'all. I know work comes first and all that kind of stuff, but uh, I love this sport. I love doing everything I can for this sport, um, and – being told I can't go do something and go to a hunt. Um, and even if it was just to go down for the banquet, um, doesn't sit well with me. So I just wanted to take a few seconds before this episode got started and issue an apology. Um, I want to be able to do more and this work that I have now is not letting me do it. So, um, y'all just forgive me for that. And, uh, I'm going to do better. I'm going to find something that where I can be more available and, and do more for this and be able to get to more places and do things. It just really, it, it, it really did hurt. It had a, I had a gut, empty gut feeling the entire weekend, uh, being this close to home and not being able to make it down there. So, uh, I just feel like I should apologize to everybody out there. I feel like I should be doing more. Uh, but, uh, uh, just before we get started, I just, I wanted to say that. So, Anyway, enough of the sappy crap. Uh, let's get into this episode. Welcome, everybody, again to the Hound's Tales podcast. This is the Monday Highlights episode, and this will be for April 22nd, 2024. I want to thank everybody for joining me again. Um, quite a big episode here, like I said in the, in the, in the beginning here. Uh, so let's get right into it. I won't waste a lot of time on all of this. The, let's start with the Twin Lakes Three Day in Kentucky. The best opposite sex on the bench show was that of Rosie's Toby N and Brunette's Joy from dog's name was Brunette's Eva from Stephanie Brunette. Best in show was that of champions Tanner Bill BV and Hillbrook's Hope. Dog's name is Short Rabbi Miller. Moving on to the Derby class, the combination and winner of the Derby's class was that of Chris Coe's Charlie and Craven's Mouse. Hound's name is Gentry's Charlie from Elon Gitley. Gentry, excuse me. All age. Uh, this one's pretty cool, guys. Um, the dual champion and the field champion were both owned by the same person, Mr. Bryson Murphy. The dual champion is that of Murphy's Champ B. And Murphy's Wi-Fi B. Dog's name is Champion Murphy's Black Widow B. And your field champion is that of Champion Sharky's Waylon and Trey Lars 2%. Hound's name is Murphy Spice B. Congratulations, Mr. Bry- uh, Bryson. Looks like a heck of a weekend for you up there. Uh, and congratulations. Uh, moving on to the Breeders' Cup. <clears throat> the best mouth up there. Was that of champion Big Bender W and champion Jones Jill? Uh, and that dog's name is Lake Hills Big Bender. And your classiest hound is that of Caney Boys Gus and Garrett's Just Lil Nelly. And that dog's name is Melvin Jet. Combination and winner for, uh, for down there is that of Kelly's Highway. And Big Rags Lexus. Hound's name is Lake Hills Daisy 2 Bishop. So congratulations to everybody down there. The Big River River Classic was also this weekend. Uh, starting with the Derby Class. Dogs out of champion Big Bender W. And Dancing Deanna W. Hound's name is LJK's Claire from Full Creek Kennels. And your all age will be out of Roger's Sling Blade and Roger's Heart from Mountaintop. Uh, I mean, so excuse me. Uh, Hound's name is Mountaintop Roxy from Mountaintop Kennels. Congratulations to both of y'all as well. And last but not least on the results from the Masters, 
Start with the bench show. The best opposite sex was at a B&B's King and Foxhaven Spirit. Dog's name is Foxhaven Le- uh, Levi from Foxhaven Kennels. The best in show was at a Spears Mountain Sergeant and After Hours Dottie. Hound's name is After Hours Hazel from After Hour Kennels. Your best mouth was out of Spears Mountain Sergeant and Rough Creek Rita. Hound's name is CMB's Red Man from Skin Up Mafia. And the class is Hound is from CMB's Larry and Old Church Sailor B. Hound's name is Shelby from Skin Up Mafia. And your 2024 Masters Field Champion is out of Champion Clyborn Zeke and Thompson's Diamond Debut. Hound's name is Thompson Spice from Cashflow Kennels. Just had them guys on not too long ago. Uh, Mr. Thompson was on the episode. If y'all haven't gotten a chance to listen to that, you ought to go back and listen to it. It was a great episode, and uh, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, you get to hear that dog run in that episode. I may be wrong on that. He'd probably have to correct me on that. But uh, <clears throat> but last but not least, guys, let's move into the uh, the Hall of Fame. <clears throat> the Masters was this weekend, and um, like I said, they did the Hall of Fame inductions and had the big ceremony. I really hated missing it, uh, like I said earlier in the episode, so... Uh, but let's get straight into it, guys. I won't hold y'all, and I'll give y'all the rundown on, on everything. So, personal Hall of Fame inductions was Mr. O'Neill Hempfield, Johnny Stevenson, Lonnie Ward, Ronnie McMillan, Voyage Brady, and Mr. Billy Poole. Congratulations to y'all and your families. I know it's a lot of sacrifice, a lot of uh, a lot of go and and making that happen. But I want to congratulate y'all, y'all personally. Um, let's move on to the sire. They got the three sires that were uh, put into the Hall of Fame. First one is Purvis Highball. Second is the Streaking Guinea D. And last is Jimmy Ziploc B. And for the dams, it's Honer's little bit. East Coast Cody, and Atkins Penny. Moving on to the greatest cross. First cross is Crisco's Newburn and Atkins Penny. Second cross is Jet Pilot Ray and Efford's Brandy. And the third cross is Garner's Singing Sam and Pam B. Shaw. And the last category is the greatest running hound. The first one is MK's Taylor. Second, Honer Slinger H. And the third and last induction of the night was at a D, it was DNS Mighty Man. Congratulations to everybody, anybody that had anything to do with these crosses, and um, just a big shout out to the Masters for, for doing everything they do, the, the whole organization. It's really a truly amazing thing, and um, I cannot thank y'all enough for everything you do. Uh, I hated missing it again, so... Um, uh, hats off to you guys. But uh, that's all I got for this episode, guys. Uh, I won't make it too awful long. Uh, not a whole lot of news on the outside. Uh, not a lot of uh, not a lot going on. We're pretty stable on the uh, pretty stable on the on the Virginia Pen series, and everything's looking good for that. Uh, don't forget if you are uh, if you're don't forget to get your entry fees in for me. They are coming up soon. Uh, the I think I have all but one or two left in the uh, Tower Hill hunt to be paid. So um, looks like that book's going to be full and ready to go. Uh, can't wait for that hunt. Got everything lined up, and uh, pretty excited about it. So and you have till the fifth if you have numbers for the Chalk Chuma hunt to get your money in as well. So. I want to give a big shout out to everybody again for making that happen. Um, uh, I'm really, really looking forward to this and, and can't wait to make it, uh, make it, make it, ha- make a thing, make it happen. Excuse me. So, all right, guys, that's all I got. We'll catch y'all Wednesday. Got another interesting one Wednesday. I will be out of town the rest of the week. So, uh, this Wednesday episode, uh, you'll have to tune in and catch it. But we are going to the horse mounted fox hunters. So y'all be sure to tune in, give this one a listen. Uh, it's a it's a pretty interesting little episode. I've definitely learned a lot, 
uh, puts a whole new perspective on a different side. But um, y'all be sure to tune in Wednesday. And if you haven't hit that like and subscribe button, be sure to do it. And thank y'all so much for listening. All right, everybody out there, like always, happy hunting.